Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this CATS Heaters Thermostatically Controlled Circulating Tank Heater. Now to confirm if this is going to work on your vehicle, take advantage of our vehicle fit guide here at eTrailer.com and input the year, make, and model of your vehicle and our fit guide will let you know if this will work for you or if we have something comparable that will work for you. This circulating tank heater is designed for coolant systems with a 16 to 25 quart capacity and it's going to let you start your engine easier and warm your cab faster in cold weather. Heating your engine coolant keeps it from thickening and freezing resulting in more reliable startups and smoother operations altogether. It's also going to lessen the workload and extend the life of your vehicle's battery. And because starting your engine when it's warm creates less condensation in the engine block than starting it when it's cold, your engine will get better initial fuel vaporization, which causes fewer emissions and less pollution. This external tank heater connects to both your heater core hose and engine block drain as an effective way to heat your whole coolant system. The heated coolant pushes the cold coolant through the engine block, heater core, and radiator, and then thermo siphons it back into the heater. The heater's internal thermostat is going to automatically shut the heater off at 175 degrees Fahrenheit to keep the coolant at an optimal temperature, which allows it to heat safely overnight. So, as a result, your coolant system will be preheated for a smooth startup. Your cab will heat and defrost faster, and you're not going to have to worry about frozen hoses. Make sure you do not use this heater with a 100% antifreeze solution. So, the included fitting that you see here is going to let you attach this system to your engine block drain. If there is no drain in your engine block, then you can use a lower radiator hose connector, which is sold separately but can be found here at eTrailer.com to splice into your, uh, into your lower, into your radiator hose instead. Now, this included Y shaped tube is going to connect the tank to the heater core hose that leads to your engine block, water pump, or manifold, depending on your application. And the die cast zinc tank is impact and corrosion resistant, and the tapered neck is going to assist in the flow of coolant. Now, for the thermo siphon to work correctly, this tank must be positioned vertically and you're going to use the included mounting bracket to secure the tank to your vehicle's frame rail, fender, or firewall. Once the tank is mounted and all the lines are properly connected, you're going to run this 5 foot long power cord out through your grill so that it can be plugged into a 3 prong 120 volt outlet or extension cord. You don't want to start your engine with the heater plugged in because once the vehicle is started or running, there is a chance that an air pocket can go through and it would be exposed to the element. This exposure could then cause the element to burn out. Now, this heater has a wattage of 1,000 watts and an amperage of 8.3 amps. And pulling out my ruler here, I just want to go over some dimensions with you so you can be confident this is going to work for you. Looking at the overall length or height when you have this um, mounted vertically, not counting our inlet or outlet valves, um, we are looking at about seven and a half inches long. And then the uh, inlet and outlet dimensions are both going to be sitting right at an inch and a quarter, as you can see right there. The diameter of our inlet and outlet is going to be uh, 5 eighths of an inch. And I failed to mention that the outer diameter of the tank is sitting right at 2 and a half inches. So this includes everything that you see here on the table before me. You're going to get six hose clamps, one Y tube, one hose fitting, and then the mounting bracket with hardware, along with instructions to walk you through the installation process. 
Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.